All right, now you all know that we should be using recyclable grocery bags, right? Yes! Enthusiastic crowd, but take one look at this. It's called a carry bag, and it was designed by an artist in Willimantic who isn't your typical artist. Our better buddy, Teresa LaBarber, is back with more. Carrie Quirk has been an artist for the last 20 years. She creates her masterpieces in this Willimantic studio that she shares with local artist Tom Menard, who's also her job coach. Because Carrie, Carrie does what she's going to do. It, you know, sometimes I'll try to direct her or guide her to do a, a paint a certain way, and she won't have any any of it. She she has her mind set in a certain way of doing it, and she does it. Carrie's artwork is bold and bright, and she works closely with her job coach and the Camp Horizons program. Through our work over the years, we've been able to support a variety of people in unique jobs, and I think Carrie is probably one of the most unique art, uh, people that we've ever supported. She's one of the most unique people we've supported because she is an artist. And she is an artist that has a flair for color, loves being... Um, using color in unconventional ways and is not held back by any kind of constraints of what should and shouldn't be done. There are prints of Carrie's works, cards, originals, and the Carrie bag. We took four of her paintings and put them on uh, shopping bags made out of recycled material, 80% recycled material, uh, paper and plastic, and uh, we had them made uh, for us and they cost less than $14. In this economy, uh, you want to have art be affordable. Lots of times a painting that sells for several hundred dollars or sometimes into the thousands is way out of reach of most people that might want to have artwork. So we thought this is a way to make the art more affordable and also to make it something that's practical and useful. In each of her pieces, you'll notice her unique signature. It becomes part of the artwork, and there's something even more unique about Carrie. This young lady is an incredible artist, and she has autism. Carrie has had a neurological disorder from birth that creates autistic symptoms. On top of that, she's hearing impaired and communicates with sign language. It takes a long time for people to feel self-actualized and to finally feel like they're in the right profession doing the right thing. And we certainly had the feeling that when Carrie started to paint regularly, and this became her job, not anything else, she had many other things that she did before this, uh, that she started to be able to express who she was and who she is. According to her coaches, painting drastically changed Carrie's behavior. She was more calm. She was more interested in, in um, being in with groups of people where she had not been interested in that at all before. Um, I should maybe say she was more tolerant of being with groups. She um, chooses to paint, uh, sometimes even in her free time. After an art class, the teacher saw raw talent in Carrie and suggested private lessons. The painting was the um, aha moment for us to say, yes, we have finally matched her. We finally uh, afforded her the opportunity to do what she'd always wanted to do inside but couldn't express to us. Uh, in a more conventional way. For nearly six hours a day, and then even in her free time, Carrie paints to express herself. You know you're doing what your life's work is when you can focus on it for so long and, and be so excited about doing it. I watch Tom and Carrie walk to work in the morning on nice days, and she's got a... Yeah, that's great. She has a big grin on her face. For Better Connecticut, I'm Teresa LaBarbera. Wow, that is just unbelievable. What do you guys think of Carrie's work? That's what I thought. Camp Horizons is an organization that supports children and adults with special needs in a variety of settings, obvious camp programs, employment, education, community, and supported living. Uh, it's all in Willimantic, and all you have to do is head to our website, wfsb.com, to learn more. Karen?